All right, this one is called Letters of Bernard Thorne. Um, this one has not yet released. I think the release date. Oh, no, sorry. This one's coming soon. So there's no price, no release date. Uh, this is the developer's second horror game. Um, did not play the first one. Uh, okay. There's your flashing lights warning. Yeah. This so we're in very high for this one. You are Bernard Thorne. Today you return from the hospital with the help of your daughter-in-law, Kate, after suffering an accident a few days ago. Your son, Andrew, could not visit you today because of his work, but promised to join you tomorrow morning. It's 4 a.m. now. Kate left your house while you slept because of her night shift. She a nurse? Maybe. You are alone. You decide to get out of bed. Demo. <laughs> Oh, I do want to invert that. Okay. Need to dissolve a pain pill first. Okay. Okay, it wants me to not do controller, which probably makes sense. The controller was not the best for it. Oh, and now it's in... Interesting. It wasn't inverted on keyboard and mouse, but it was on controller. Okay, so pick up our pain meds. It's water soluble. Sarah used to give us two, now we get one. Put it in a glass of water. This is up like we're cleaning our dentures. Hold space to stand up and release. Can you drop your sensitivity? Good question. Yes. So you're very jumpy. It's about half. That's, That's much, much better. better. Oh, we got up way fast. Wait. Okay, I can't stand up for too long or it pains me, it looks like. Ooh, beep, motorized. Beep, beep. Fancy. I guess she's a nurse if she's got a... I mean, you could also have a PSW. Broke oh, her tablet. No. Did tablet, it broke when I fell down the stair. Diagnosis. Okay, it's 2014, we're 73, minor bruises, no. minor memory loss, concussion. Above normal amount of codeine detected in blood system. Fell down the stairs along with his, uh, oh, we were in the wheelchair Backwards. prior to. So the wheelchair reversed down the stairs. I was going to say that we were in the wheelchair prior to falling. Yeah. The, the falling did not cause wheelchair. Yeah. Codeine. Reduce, Reduce patient's pain meds. So that's why we're down to one pill instead of two. I see. Shallow breathing hallucinations. Okay. We can see. I guess I'm never getting up there again. Anything on the TV? My guy, your TV is way too far from your. I don't know what you could even your see. Bed. What's that? Not enough space to stand. Whoa! -ho -ho. Why was that not attached? Yeah, why, to yeah. Why wasn't that there chair. to begin with? Click. 
actually. Uh, and I can't close it once it's opened, okay. We post it now. New tablets being charged in Andrew's old room. Kate. Okay. Andrew. Something's blocking the door. And we can't just ram it down, okay? Because that would damage the chair. Cool. Uh. Sorry, what? Can I? Can I? Maybe this is how I reverse down the stairs. I'm like, I don't want to go towards that, but. What do you say? Go up. Go up. That's what the shadowy figure did, is it ran past us and then went up. Oh, I I didn't even notice a shadowy figure. I just saw a person on the Why are we ladder. doing this? I don't like that. I think that's the point. And the ambulance arrived. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah, but why? You, no, you don't need to. I... He said we have to. Should not be taking more pain meds, my dear. Also jammed. Always keep the second floor corridor and the bathroom light on at night. Do yeah. not what? Do not remove this post-it. See, maybe I was just at a bad angle for this door. Ah. Oh, we're afraid of the dark. Okay, that's why we have to keep the light on. We're afraid of the dark. You backing up knowing that the stairs are right, right behind there. you is stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a glass. We have a caretaker. Dear Andrew, thank you for having me as your father's caregiver for such a long time. It's been my pleasure. So we did have a PSW. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's been my pleasure taking care of him and believe your family's decision to move in with him is what he needs most right now. I already told you all you need to know. I'm leaving this smile just in case. So pain meds in the first floor guest room in the drawer. Father's usually dosage, usual dosage is two in the morning, two after dinner. Since the doctor told you to tone it down, make it one tablet. Sleeps around 8, wakes up around 4 a.m. Usually stays in his room until the sun comes up because of his nyctophobia. Uh, so the lights on the second floor on just in case he wants to use the bathroom. Hope your father recovers soon, although I have nothing to worry about now that he's in his family's loving embrace, Sarah. We now know where our pills are. Let's go down the stairs. Forwards this time. But let's okay. Ooh. Ooh. do not like that at all. Your mother's sewing machine is still working. Do you think Bernard would mind if I practice with it? I was going to make something cute for Timmy to wear. Okay. I guess that's from Kate to Andrew, maybe? Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Don't touch. Oh, I see. Well, this hockey stick fell down. And is blocking the door. Of 
Cool. Now we're armed. Oh, now we're no longer armed. Did we close that door behind us? I don't think we did. The doors might auto close. They are, um, what do you call it? They're like mechanized. Yeah. This room is still a mess. Your grandson specifically told us he will unpack his stuff when he returns from his school camping trip. Okay. House map. Sorry, son? Grandson. Okay. I guess since we haven't been doing so hot, it sounds like our son and his son are staying here. Grandpa's room. Oh, that other dark room is our study. Timmy is here. Multi-purpose room is the sewing room. And then first floor. We've got an electrical closet. I'm not a fan of that. And we've got a basement. Also not a fan. The attic's also not a What do you mean map. you're not a fan of the electrical closet? Because that means the power's going to go out at some point where we have nyctophobia. So we're going to have to rush downstairs to turn the power back okay, on. Okay, there is no rushing. Here. Rushing is not... Not a good idea. Don't want to fall down the stairs again. And this is our flashlight. Most items can be reread using the tablet. Okay, so I can click on the tablet and I can read. There's our map, to do list. It says go up to the attic. I don't want to do that though. Okay. okay. Just had a Vietnam flashback from Timmy's toy. Dang it, Timmy. Uh, I guess we got our flashlight now, so now we can go to the, the dark room. Uh, we found our tablet, which has the world's strongest flashlight on it. So now we can go into this dark room and only be slightly scared of it. Is there a light switch or something? No? Okay. Oh. Blinding lamp. <laughs> the window spirit is chat GPT. Okay, now everything's like black and white. Letter to Andrew. Dear Andrew, I am sorry I took so much away from you. I write this letter and the letters after this, not in the hope of gaining your forgiveness, but telling how much I love you and your mother. To me, she was and still is the most beautiful and kindest person I've ever known. Your mother always had this past tense. Sounds like her mother's gone. Or her wife. This coming presence that made you forget about the bad things happening around you. If she told you that everything is okay, you'd believe her without a single drop of doubt. I can still remember the time I was under your mother's care in Vietnam. It was Vietnam. She was a nursing officer who was part of the first South Korean medical team that came to help the U.S. in the war. When I got taken to the Korean field hospital after my injury due to a chain of events, your mother being the only staff who could speak English volunteered to be my caretaker. She could have sent me to a U.S. hospital. She was concerned with the idea of moving me around in my condition. As such, your mother always thought of others first, even in a foreign land where death loomed over everyone, including her. What's that? Did you get it right <laughs> I'd be interested in a break a nipper. Oh, it's a, it's a wire stripper. Okay. No, you don't call them nippers here. I've never heard of, uh, like the ones where like you have the wire and you like put it on to like pull yeah. the. Oh, I've just called a wire stripper. Is that? I've called them nippers before. I've never heard that. Maybe that's what, because I've only did it when we did our physical computing class. Is that American? 
to the other Americans in chat called wire stripper. I say other Americans as if I'm American, but <laughs> do they call wire strippers nippers? Oh, we were an electrical. Electrician. Yeah. And it looked like we owned our own company. Samus is his wire strippers. So it sounds like it's not necessarily an American thing. Hmm. I don't like that. Kate said I might have broken it during the fall. I can fix it with the nipper in my study. What does this say? Is it an old people thing? Maybe. Calling them nippers. Kate signals two weeks here. Some simply posts around the house. If there's anything you need to know, it can be the same. If there's anything I need to know tomorrow, brings me back to when we were in high school. Fine, but you're the one who's going to clean them up. Okay. Boy. Oh, that's that's actually kind of cool. I have to like look down at it. I'm gonna Google this now because I don't know why I call them that. I have to wiggle. I have to really wiggle it. Okay. The wire is exposed. I need to empty my hand to tie it. Well, can you? On this one, I got to mash, right click on it. Okay. Oh, we fixed it. This. Okay. We. Beardy says nipper is slang for wire cutter. I see. Okay, we're downstairs now. Post it. Interesting. Wood ramp, the front door is in horrible condition to throw it away. We'll hit a new one on the way tomorrow. Okay. I don't know if I ever told you. I used to do, um, like, wire art. You know, do you know what those are? So we like, take wires. Is that where you, like, you bend and yes, shape and them? Yes, and then we, we strip them using uh -huh. the nippers, and then you shape them into, like, trees and stuff. I don't think you told me that. I've seen art before, but... But, yeah. Do you have any pictures of stuff you've done, or...? No. Lost to time? Yes, because we yeah, pictures weren't really... I say this as if we're so old, but <laughs> people didn't really take many pictures of things then. Mm -hmm. Move our stuff to Bernard's place to settle in. Timmy also starts his three-day school camp trip. Uh... Whatever. Oh, Kate. Kate goes to a two-day medical workshop. Okay, so Kate is also a doctor, nurse, something like that. And then I guess we're on the 29th. Andrew's on a 24-hour shift doing whatever it is he does. Bernard, home from hospital after workshop. Yeah, and she's on her 12-hour shift, so we're I guess we're the early morning of the 30th. Tim returns, have a big move-in party. I don't know if we're getting to the party, but let's see. Boy, who's blocking my corridor? Oof. Oh, there's our old walker. Is, that, is there something back there as well? Can't quite see. It's a nice green. That used to be the color of our kitchen. Oh, it's a old non-motorized wheelchair and a walker with the tennis balls in the bottom. Boy, they baby gated me. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, why did they put a baby gate? That's... not infantilizing at all. What is this? Calming a PTSD attack. Take a deep breath, distract yourself. <laughs> this is all scribbled out. Mindfulness, seek social support. One, turn on all lights. Be aware of doing chores or reading books can help. Can Don't look up. away from its face. It gets worse when you look away from it. It keeps coming back. I don't know how helpful this flyer is. We can't use the piano. Well, I think that's... He's gonna have a panic attack. We gotta turn lights on. Okay, but has he tried breathing? I don't see anything. I hate when my doctor's like, well, have you tried breathing exercises? <laughs> Have you tried not panicking? Have you tried not being anxious? And I'm like, what a novel idea. Is there a, a light switch? He's not doing great. Also, why is like the caretaker not, do they not bring her in for like the extra time if everyone is gonna be away for like 24 hours? So where's my documents flashing? Maybe she didn't expect you to be so active. Well, it said that we wake up at 4 a.m., but that we usually don't leave until the sunlight. Oh. <laughs> That's why lights aren't working. Because our house is old. I can't even get into this bathroom. This is unusable to me. Mm. And we're trying to get to the guest, the first floor guest room. So we gotta go through the kitchen. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, he is not a fan of this at all. Oh! Ooh. Is that a... Is that planned or is that a... No, that's a... We gotta redo that. Okay. Do we just go fast? I didn't see any lights. Oh, I'm stuck on the stove. Let's go back. If you didn't baby gate me, this wouldn't be a problem. I assume we can't, like, move this box, right? Oh! <laughs> I, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm, like, clipping into something and, like, triggering this when I, I shouldn't be able to. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't look, it doesn't look quite right, either. <laughs> Let's get him with the nippers. Take that. <laughs> oh shoot, sorry, look. Okay, now you can go out. If I open this door, does that help light anything? Yeah, I think, yeah, we just got spoiled on... Are these candles? Can I take a candle with me? No. Also, it's interesting because you can see here, if I'm looking this way, we're fine. But as soon as, so it seems to be, where am I looking? So maybe if I look at the light, is it better? It is, slightly. Oh, 
was so close. Okay, I think we just gotta do that. If we look at down at the light, it's better. Then we just gotta go. And not get caught on a chair this time. And I said, and not get caught on the chair this time. Okay. Okay, what is this thing? What did that say? Another strange gadget for me. There's no manual. Okay, so he doesn't understand what that thing is, so he doesn't want to pick it up. Else, this, it doesn't look like a baby. It looks like someone had it like actually like installed to like block this. But like, why? Why would you ruin the flow of your house like this? Sometimes when you have circumstances, the aesthetic of the house doesn't really matter. I'm curious what circumstances would have you put that up. A circuit breaker is busted and some electronics are out of power, including the opener for this door. I'm sure Dad keeps a spare breaker somewhere. I'm going to spare in the kitchen while he's getting breakfast. I don't know why Cat keeps it there, though. I'll use to fix the breaker box. Oh, is that, is that the breaker? Do, do we know what it is now? Now can we pick it up? No. Oh, there. Here's what. That's what it was. Oh, that like weird thing that we kept seeing. We just had like a giant like red leg like sweep out. Does it not look like a leg? There was a leg like stuck in its mouth or something. Okay, now we still don't know what those things are. What have we got here? Finally got the smart lights we talked about. I installed them around the house. Do you sync them with the new tablet? Oh, what if the tablet arrived in time? If it arrived while I was taking a nap? Oh, so those things are smart lights that I guess are supposed to light up when our tablet's in proximity. Also, I think I see a slight reflection of, of us. So our to-do list is still go up to the attic. Screwdriver. Okay. Smart light manual. How to sync. Download the Luminous 5 app to your smart device. Bring the smart device close to an active smart light. The app's pop-up window will appear on your smart device. Follow the instructions. App download QR code. Yeah, we're, we're 73. We don't understand what this means. Oh, we're getting a, a flashback. It's another letter to Andrew. Oh. You were always a smart lad who could learn anything so quickly. It was one of your many characteristics that reminds me of your mother. In Vietnam, I asked her if she learned to speak English. She told me that she made friends with the nursing officers in the nearby U.S. Field Hospital, which is quite amazing considering her deployment was just a year ago. Thirsty for knowledge, she said she wanted to write in English, too. I told her it would naturally improve just by reading a lot. Considering the circumstances, finding suitable reading material was difficult. After some thought, I promised to write her letters after my departure so she could use them for studying. A few days later, I was sent to a U.S. hospital where I was soon given a medical discharge. I went back to Sunny Ridge where I immediately got to keeping my promise. Come to think of it, writing those letters was more for myself than for her. There were scars I brought back home from the war, the kind that keeps you awake at night. For some reason, writing to your mother was the only thing that helped me cope with them, with, cope with living with them. That's why I kept on writing those letters, even though there weren't any replies. You still can't look at this envelope. Wait, is the QR code actually a link to that star page? <laughs> is that their other game? That would be funny. Let me 
see the developer because they did have one other game. Love Sam? Yeah, that's their other game. That's a that's a funny Easter egg. <laughs> Yes, if you look up the developer on Steam, they've made one other game. Uh, I think it was 2016, and that's that's the game. Break this breaker box, jeez. Circuit breaker is broken. Shutting down the door leading to the guest room. I think I'll put the spare in the kitchen. Okay. No, I don't, don't want to read that. I want to go back. Oh, is there an eyeball and why are we trapped in here now? Oh, please. Okay. So I have to like stop it inside. Why does the, the light sinking have a, a quick time event that's horrible? Walls are playing the dog barking song again. The quick time events not go insane. Oh, there's a light switch over there. Oh no, I'm trapped. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, at least if we're close to the table, we're fine. You guys can get us like those lights that like stick on. Like you just like put it on the wall and then you can turn it on. And the kitchen light is, isn't working again. I really hope it's not the chewed off wire this time. Uh, you didn't replace the chewed off wire last time? Okay, we need our, our screwdriver. Um, I don't like that. He don't like it either. No, it got me. Uh... Jeez, I thought I was supposed to look at its face. It lied to me. Jeez. Whew. I'm just going to leave the wire exposed like that. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Hydrate. There you are.
Okay. I guess the... Oh, yeah, the... Fuse breaker thing was in the kitchen. Can we move this chair? I said in the kitchen. Where would it be in the kitchen? Do I have to stand up for it? Oh, I can open these doors. I did not see that. As well in here was in these other ones. Okay, I'm just gonna close these. I would be worried that if I ever came back here that they would block me, even though I feel like I would never be in this corner, but can never be too sure. Screwdriver, please. Oh my gosh, please. No, it ate my face. <laughs> okay, let's try again with not having our face eaten. Can I pre-pick up my screwdriver? Uh, I put it away as soon as I start moving. Don't forgive me. Is that end? That was the end. That was pretty terrifying. <laughs> It had a lot of interesting mechanics. Um, I like that it kind of like naturally limited what you could do and how you can move around the space. Also, our family members, I don't know if they're taking the best care of us. <laughs> they could have... Uh, we, we fixed that breaker in about what, five minutes when stuff wasn't eating our face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was going to end with us going to the, the attic. <laughs> It was kind of interesting to me that kind of we left our bedroom and then our goal the whole time was enter the attic. We never actually did that, <laughs> but I did have fun trying to get there.